welcome to this redone guys I just wanted to say before it starts that nothing is scripted I'm just going off the cuff here and hopefully you enjoy if I mumble a bit I apologize if there's something you don't understand just comment below and I'll try and answer any questions in the comments if you're having problems with glitches check out the videos on the channel because there's fixes on there but as I say any any issues or anything you don't understand just comment below and I'll try and give you a hand cheers recommend you changing your settings of course settings can be personal preference to you know what, what is best for you these settings that I'm doing help me personally out a lot I'm not the best player in the game I'm not the worst but they do help me they might help you so I'm just going to show you them anyway so we're going to go to options first then you're going to go to graphics on graphics there's something called field of view your field of view wants to be all the way so uh, it's 90 on this, it wants to be, uh, well I, I'd recommend that you do 90 as well, that's what I usually go for. Gamma, brightness, contrast, that's all personal preference to how you, your screen and stuff. But field of view, ideally that needs to be all the way up, that will help you out a lot. Once you've done that, come out, you go to controls, click on controls and it gives you uh, loads of different sort of default uh, controller types, so you've got different buttons and stuff. You don't really need to change them again. It's personal preference if you if you prefer a different setup. But the ones I do recommend you have to press advanced, which is triangle on the PS4 controller, or Y on the Xbox controller. So triangle, and you come down to these sort of if you, these these things here. So you've got sensitivity. That's that's for you to you know decide. But the one that I would recommend changing is the down sight factor. So that's your ADS. And I'd recommend having your ADS below 5 because when you've got targets that are further away in the field you're shooting at, having high ADS is really hard because all you can see is sort of these little people running and you know they're extremely hard to shoot and the, the guns in this game are very hit and miss so I recommend having a low uh, aim down sight. I've got mine on 0 0.5 here, I actually normally play around 2 but again it's it's up, up, uh, up to you, personal preference and then the other things I need to be on is not that but toggle sprint should be on and cancel sprint on release because they, it's like two things that will really help you out um, they just make the game run a lot smoother having that off sometimes like, you'll just keep running and keep running and sometimes you don't always need that having the ability to stop yourself is a lot better um, but they're the two that I recommend on and that below five or five. Any higher it gets a bit a bit more difficult. Again, once you play through the game yourself though you realise I mean you might want it higher, you might want it lower, even lower. But they're just the beginner settings I would I'd recommend. Finally on the settings, we go to audio. And I've just got my volume down for this, but in particular that voice's volume needs to be all the way up. Just because when you in the game itself you can actually hear the voices of the enemies and sometimes you can figure out if they're in your trench or not when you can hear the voices maybe like if you, you know if you play, play as the British or the Allies and you hear some German voices you know that you know there's guys nearby so that one wants to all, uh, be all the way up the others their personal preference but that one I definitely recommend so we've done the settings and um, we're going to move on to how the squads work and stuff and different game modes and things like that. So play offline, the only game mode you can play is squad defence. This is a game mode to sort of practice on, play by yourself, you can't invite anyone else, it's just purely offline, it's you versus waves of enemies. It's an okay game mode, it's not too bad. Now if you go online, you can choose four different game modes. Rifle, deathmatch and attrition, people don't play at all. Front lines and squad defence are the only games which people seem to play. Squad defence is perfect for different squads and stuff if you've got friends to play with. And front lines is also good for it, but front lines is sort of the best multiplayer game mode. So for example we're going to click on front lines. If you want to play with friends, the best thing to do is create your own squad. And you have all these squads to choose from. Uh, I'm going to pick the Highlanders here and it'll put you into a Highlander 
uh, squadron, so I'm in the 3rd Reserve Ballia, uh, Battalion. And sometimes it takes two minutes to load up. Once you're in here, you can set up which class you want. Once you've done that, you can invite your own friends. Obviously, it's different on Xbox and PlayStation to how we invite, but it, you know, it still gets them in either way. Progression and experience, I wouldn't worry about them because the game, it, the way they've made it, it doesn't really work. It, it, it's it's irrelevant basically these these two things so don't, I wouldn't worry about it once you've got your friends in press set ready and then it will take you into the game sometimes it takes 10 minutes to load up so I wouldn't worry if it, if it feels like it's taking a long time it's just trying to find the best game to put you in so we're going to look at some of the best classes to practice with and some of the best guns to learn the game with and you know how to improve accurate shooting and things like that so I would go on to, if you, well, if you wanted to practice first of all, I'd go to play offline and score defence because, uh, as I said before, you, you know, you can have enemies after enemies running at you and you can just sort of practice your shooting. And even though it's not the most fun game mode, it's quite boring at points. Sometimes it's good, it depends what you like, but it's a great way of practicing because there's waves of enemies and it's just you by yourself um, taking them out. So ideally you want to look for the Tommies I, I would recommend, I think, the, the best all round group in the game uh, or faction. And on the Tommies, they've got plenty of rifles. Join the Green Howards. Um, we've got in here. So, the Corporal, for example, the two, there's three types of weapons you want to sort of play at the start of the game handguns, so pistols like the Webley or the Weebly, uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. And then you've got your rifles, so for example this one's a Lee Enfield Mark III rifle. And these guns are particularly good for learning the game when you get to you know, have your accurate shooting, uh, practice accurate shooting, aiming down and hitting targets at a f far distance. These guns are brilliant, the pistols, the handguns, they're great for trench defence and when you're in the enemy's trench. And, and they always come with like sort of side things, so this at the top has got binoculars. Usually they have a specialisation, so usually I think the Tommies can call in artillery, so using the binoculars you can sort of pick out spots and you can call artillery on the enemy. So you've got your pistols and you've got your rifles which you want to learn on first, but also it's good to learn on light machine guns just because they're so easy to use and they don't require too much accuracy, you can just keep shooting and taking down enemies. So if you want to practice, definitely go on to Tommy's and then have a look between sort of the rifle classes and then the gunner classes as well. So you want to look at pistols, bolt action rifles like the Lee Enfield and then anything with a gunner. So um, light machine guns or carrying machine guns. Sometimes if, you're, if you want to use the Germans, the MP18 is usually one of the better options. Of course there is other guns. So if I go on the rifle section here. You see there's no man's land sniper and marksman. The marksman comes with this scope. I'd probably say the Tommy's is again it's probably my favourite scope on the game for snipers. Uh, I think there's other models like the I don't know if it's one of the French ones I think it's really hard to use. But snipers in general at the start of the game if I was a beginner player I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to use them because they're really difficult and it can be quite boring because you're not always getting killed. Sometimes you have to find the right position, sometimes you get picked off really quickly. So it's not the most fun or easy class to start with. So if you if if you knew, I wouldn't. I would definitely wouldn't start with snipers at, at yet, unless you obviously if you really want to. It's personal preference again. So just before we go into more of the gameplay aspects, I just want to quickly run over a few uh, functions within the game itself, or in when you're in combat. So on the left hand side of the screen, you can see I've got a mini map. If you press the down key on the PlayStation controller, I think it will be the down key as well on the Xbox controller. You can make the map disappear, like that, and the whole HUD. Sorry, it's not just the map, it's the whole HUD. So if you're looking for a more realistic sort of game play, or there's too, too much shit on your screen that you don't want, you can just press the downwards HUD and it all goes off and then you can sort of... It, does look, it looks a lot more realistic, it's probably quite good for reenactment battles if if anyone's interested in doing them, that's, that's what it's probably best for. So that's the downwards key to get rid of the hood. The right key is probably one of the most important keys because in this game there's no voice chat. Instead you have to use these command orders, so that's the right key. And basically these command orders give warnings and 
different instructions so you got to take down sniper throw grenade and different orders if you're the NCO and you've got a group uh, or a squad who's following you these are really helpful and so follow me retreat attack different positions you can do replies and you've got your misc as well you've got a battle shout and laugh <laughs> so they're, they're really helpful and a lot of people use them some people don't some people listen to the commands some people don't again it's very mixed it's 50 50 but they're worth using the more you use them the better it is at least if you can see guys coming from enemies coming from the right and the whole teams on the left having the ability to uh give them a warning saying coming enemies or enemies on the right and it pops up on the left hand screen it's, it's, it is helpful um but as i say not everyone uses them but it's worth using then you've got the left trigger the left trigger just zooms down on the map so if you look on the left hand side of the screen you can do a really close view sort of a regular view and then an out of view one of the, the specializations that some of the classes have on this game is the recon plane and the recon plane comes across the battlefield and marks the enemies with small red dots on the map so zooming in can see you can sort of pinpoint where them dots are and zooming out actually may help as well so that's that trigger and then finally you've got the upwards trigger which is your gas mask and the gas mask obviously is extremely important for when gas gets brought in because your screen starts going blurry when your screen goes blurry you die and you can't see at the same time so that's the upwards trigger so I'll run over them one more time upwards trigger gas mask on gas mask off your right trigger your orders and commands downwards triggers the hood and the left trigger is your map zoom in and out so in this sort of section I'm going to run over two things I'm going to work, uh, run over how, how this sort of game mode works in general I know I've explained it but I'm going to present it to you and I'm going to show you some shooting techniques which sometimes help as I say before I'm not the best shot but I don't think I'm the worst so the idea is you hold a trench by yourself if online, uh, this is offline mode sorry offline squad defense you hold a trench by yourself you've got various ammo crates dotted around so there's one here so when you run low on ammo you can come to it press square and you can refill your ammo on the mini map in the bottom left hand corner you'll see i've got a defensive position i need to take so i'm going to move over to this now so now i need to hold this position on the trench and you can see i've got enemies so shooting wise when the enemies are running at you you want to look at them and you want to breathe down every time ideally that's the the best way about it you can obviously run out of breath or you can't always breathe in so sometimes you have to go free-handed so you just have to be very steady hopefully with the controls I've shown you before it makes it a lot easier um, to aim with a lower ADS sometimes that helps and the idea is that you can shoot just in front of them and it hits them because for done at the minute because it hasn't got this new update some of the enemies still have some sort of lag and you have to shoot just in front of them to get a kill and sometimes you feel like you're hitting them and maybe you are much uh, sometimes you you know you think you are hitting them but shooting just in front of the enemy usually you, you get the kill it's, it's similar to other other games but sometimes as i say you can you can keep shooting the guy and you think you're killing him but he, he doesn't go down and it, it does start to piss you off a bit so you're aiming down you're breathing and then you're finding your shot back out straight away again but these are just AI enemies so they'll keep running at you usually they just run at you in a straight line online you get people are a lot more switched on and they'll start running side to side so when people start running side to side it makes it much more difficult once you've completed the first wave you get some HQ support uh, well we don't actually I've got one more attack remaining and that's when you can start calling artillery in your trench so if you're really in this shit there's loads of uh, enemy in your trench you can start calling stuff in and this this will keep the waves just keep on going and you see this time the enemy's attacking but they're sending in the artillery as well sometimes this artillery will be gas instead so yeah that's uh it can be a bit of a pain in the arse you'll see it come down in a second there we are and it shakes the screen quite violently i just thought i'd show you the uh gunner side to it as well which is you know it's a very popular class to choose and i think that's one of the issues with the gunner classes online especially people even experienced players love to play it because it's so easy to use obviously the only issue with 
being a gunner is you're very static. The Lewis gun can actually fire while moving, uh, whilst moving, but not all guns, not all LMGs can. But yeah, it's extremely popular. So sometimes it is hard to select. That's why rifles. It's better to learn on rifles because you know at least you you guaranteed you'll always you'll always have something. So I'm going to aim down the sights. See, I'm just getting headshots quite easily. Even online, this is a lot easier because even if they're sort of even if you can't hit them, you can still you can just fire into the to whatever, and it, you know, it should hopefully catch them out. Even if you feel you know, as I say with a rifle before, when you you're hitting them and it's not they're not going down with this gun, you can just keep shooting. Eventually, they will fucking go. Trying to reload here. <coughs> Mugs are decent size, as I said, the Tommies are probably the, one of the best all around on the game. Got a mix of everything, handguns, grenades, machine guns, Lee Enfield rifles. But there's no specific techniques really to machine gunners. I mean, I'd say if you're playing online, don't stay in a fixed position for too long. Kill them, kill as many as you can and then move off straight after because you flash often in when you're in the in battle or in the in the game you can see the flash the muzzle flash from the machine gun and uh, it makes you a clear target for snipers and gun marksmen uh, guys with the rifles so definitely move off after you've uh, killed a few So this next section is just about front lines and some cool things you can do which can help you enhance gameplay and uh, efficiency when playing. One of the hardest things in the front lines game mode is actually getting to the enemy trench without getting killed. So as you can see from the gameplay I'm showing here, I try to duck and then run side to side usually because people find it much harder to shoot. It's almost what I was saying before in the earlier clip about when you're aiming, some, you have to aim in front because people run side to side. So what you want to do is run and keep running as far as you can till your stamina goes all the way down but always run side to side if you've got grenades throw grenades because it's sort of it plays a distraction it can sometimes hurt the enemies and then try and find the sort of best part of the trench which sticks out so running side to side is probably the best technique to get into the enemy trench so you can see now as well from this sort of situation i'm slowly moving down but i'm staying down i'm not standing up i'm not sprinting i'm just staying down because people come around corners really quickly and it's always good to aim pre-aim before you go around a corner just in case so i'm moving down once again i'm not going too fast i'm going steady because people run at you with bayonets as well turning and looking no one there it's cleared there so what you could do now is actually do one of the commands you can see you know the the left trench is clear for other people in the game but sometimes you know people don't tend to do that but I've found my area, I'm just going to hold my ground for now on this sort of left hand side of the trench. So from holding this left area now I can see some muzzle, muzzle flash fire from the right so I weave past a gate to shoot someone and it's probably one of the best techniques to get a shot off and then not being hit at the same time. I see someone to the left, get a shot off and back in the cover. So you want to use the sort of surroundings in your trench very effectively because you can get a shot off without being shot at and then you're back in the cover again. It's a good technique for getting kills and holding an area. I hope this small guide helps you if you're a beginner player or even a veteran player. Uh, there's, you know, just the different tips and settings. They might help you a lot. They might help you a little. It depends. It's all personal preference at the end of the day. But if there's anything that you still don't understand, um, just comment below and I will help you out. If it's glitches, like I said earlier on in the video, I've got other videos on my channel which you can have a look at and I will link in below. But thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Cheers.